Describe for me the moment, uh, like we were just talking about, you're sitting on that train. Walk me through what happened here. Yeah, we were sitting and the train was stopped at the light and all of a sudden it jerked forward. Um, it felt like kind of a like the worst amusement park ride that, that you can imagine, just jerking you forward. Luckily, I was in a seat facing forward, so I didn't fall out of my seat or do anything other than just bump my head on the metal bar behind me. But everyone else who was in the seats facing the side or who was standing, I think most of them ended up on the floor. So the, the, the folks who were on the side, like against the window. And so what was your understanding at first, um, you know, about what happened? I thought it was some sort of mechanical failure with our train. Um, I hadn't realized that we had been hit actually until um, I was leaving the scene and saw the end of the second car smashed in. Um, and, sorry, and so just to be clear, so you're on the front train, and so when you walk out and you see that collision there, what goes through your mind? Um, I feel very lucky uh, for myself, um, and I feel uh, very bad for the folks who were injured, and I really hope that they all pull through and. and don't suffer any lasting injuries. Describe some of the injuries for me. I know you mentioned you saw some with a dislocated shoulder, but what were some of the other things that you that you had seen? Um, so a couple of people had ice packs. I think they'd hit their heads. One guy had an ice pack on his wrist. Um, really the worst thing that I saw was the girl who, again, seemed to have a shoulder injury. I think she said it, uh, it felt dislocated. Gotcha. Okay.